Okay. Let's uh, see if we can't find a load to carry. See if there's something in this facility that I'm parked at that we started, we ended at here in Denver. I'd like to get to Colorado Springs, actually. Denver to Denver. Denver to Colorado Springs. It's a double trailer. A lot of Denver to Denver's. Here's a Colorado Springs UPS trailer. Let's do that one. Denver to Colorado Springs. Okay, well, welcome back to Northern Ants Gaming. I am Mark, and we are taking a drive from Denver, Colorado to Colorado Springs. And it looks like it's a UPS trailer. And as you can see from your screen, we have we picked up the Genie. 920 Logitech steering wheel plus the pedals and the stand so it'll make the drive a little bit smoother so hope you enjoy let's see trailers ready let's get our let's get our truck started so we can kind of see where it's okay we got it. Hmm, let me if I maybe, well let's see is it in this facility Yeah, I think it is. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Or do we have to leave this facility to get to it? Let's, uh... What's the button for... Okay, there. Oh, we have to leave this facility. So we gotta turn around. As you can see on the GPS there. Oh, we've got to go 11 miles to get to the facility to get to it. So, okay. So we gotta we gotta turn around and go back the way we came. Let's say. Yeah, I would think we would have to leave the facility to get to it. Can we get out from this way? Or do we have to go back that way? Oh, wait, oh, we gotta go that way. Or can we go straight? Let, yeah, we should be able to get out of here going straight. Yeah, this should be pretty good. Here, let's close our window. A little less, uh noise. I'm still playing with the settings for the steering wheel. As you can see, the, the feedback is pretty strong for turning itself. I've driven around a little bit just to get the settings squared away on the steering wheel. But I have not tried picking up a load yet with it, so this will be fun. First time getting a trailer with it. Uh, let's see what do we got for. Need to use the mouse for looking around still, which... Kind of 
because the mouse, when I let go of the mouse, it actually um, doesn't want to stay exactly where I set it because it's not on a level surface. So I think the track IR is going to be a kind of an important add-on to the to the experience. This on the right hand side here is a facility that you can purchase to have as one of your operational facilities. I still haven't figured out how to program the steering wheel to, or the pedals to do uh, reverse through a uh, gear shifting. If you, what it does, if you push the, the pedal for a long period of time, it goes into reverse. The, the brake, if you push the brake for a long period of time, it goes into reverse, so. I tried programming, or programming other buttons to do the, the gear shifts, but for some reason wouldn't accept them. So, so we'll go with what it is for right now until I learn a little bit more about it. You just have to remember to take your foot off the brake when you come to a complete stop. office right there. Yeah, it's a UPS facility. Okay, let's see, where's our trailer? Oh yeah, you can see the big brown. One of them. <laughs> Let's see which one is it. Oh, my window's still open. Or no, it's not. No. Yeah. Must be the one at the end here. Oh, around the corner actually. Yeah, I definitely got to do something about this force feedback because see how fast it turns back. It's a little too much. If you let go of the steering wheel, it, it really flies back on you. Okay. Oh, it's quite a bit back there. I've got the force feedback turned off, but it's still...
Okay. Got our trailer. Let's uh get this mouse to that's the problem is this mouse does not wanna does not wanna just stay level. There we go. Okay, let's uh let's check and see. We got uh, ninety-three miles, an hour and forty-six minutes to get to our destination, Colorado Springs. Okay, let's start on our way. This will be the first time pulling a trailer with the steering wheel. Turn this off for a second, and let's let's go into the settings. I want to see if we can turn that steering wheel control. Oh, anybody that's got this steering wheel, I don't know which buttons we're supposed to do to get the the force feedback like strength turned down. I don't. Sound mode, brakes, clutch, shifting, gears, control, cruise control. As this down here at the bottom is the, I think this is the eye tracking. And let's see. It's got to be something with steering. Dead zone, center mold, mode, Let's accelerator, steering, nonlinear, steering sensitivity. Hmm. We'll we'll move that steering sensitivity. Move it up just a tad, just to see what it does. See how it, you know, handles turning. See, it, it, it's hard to turn, and then it comes back real fast. Yeah, see it, it, you turn it, and it just, it flies back. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with it for right now. We'll... Okay, let's start on our way. Keep our eyes open for those uh, tourist spots too. When you let off the gas, it too, it also uh, slows you down pretty quickly. I wish I'd, uh, I guess I just get out there and hope for the best that nobody's coming because I don't like touching the mouse because it takes so, so hard to get it to go back where you need it to.
Oh, wait a minute. It's, uh, we want to be in this lane anyways. At least this time we're driving in the daytime. Not like last time in the dark and the rain. Getting used to the pedals, it uh, takes some getting used to with the braking and then letting off the brake so it doesn't jump into reverse. Hope everybody's doing good. I want to give a shout out to all my loyal subscribers. If you haven't already known, I hit my 1,000 subscribers the other day, so thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you didn't get a chance to check out my uh, other video, I put out I put it out um, on Saturday, thanking everybody. And if you haven't seen that one because you don't watch ants and you just like the gaming, then um, comment down below. You know your your channel name and and a link so that people know that you're a subscriber and they have an opportunity to go check out your content also it's my way of saying thank you to you know letting you share share your channel I know a lot of my subscribers have amazing channels it's another way to help each other get our names out there and this is if this is your very first video that you've watched of mine, please uh, take a couple moments to, you know, click that like button and comment down below what you think. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. I'd really appreciate it. A little road construction going on. Looks like we've got a another facility up here, probably one that you can purchase as a place where you can run your op one of your operations here. Fort Collins. Thought we are going to Colorado Springs, which it might be like a loop back around or something. Cause I know Fort Collins is north of us and Colorado Springs is south of us. see what my speed is. Oh, did I just miss a turn off? I did. Shoot. Um, I was trying to watch my speed through the gauges. Well, I just added a little to it. I need to kind of make a run backwards. I don't know how they got expect me to they want me to do a U-turn or something? Wow, it's gonna be a... Oh, I guess I wanna be over in this lane. Cause I'm gonna have to get off, it looks like, and then get back on. Yeah, that's what it looks like they're gonna have me do. Ah, lane close. Lena. Oh, yike. <laughs> Shoot, I just added a bunch to the trip, which fortunately I don't, I've never done that in real life. GPS has tried to miss, you know, misdirect me before, but I, you know, it was always really short, never expressway stuff. And, you know, it, it try to take you down a dead end street. It's like this is the way you gotta go. Like, uh, yeah, is this GPS referring to the future when they finish this road? <laughs> oh, 
man. Yeah, it's definitely taking me a little bit out of the way. And plus, an uphill. I've got it floored. Oh, I should have tried using that service ramp. Or, oh, emergency vehicle turn off. Now I'm going to have to drive all the way up and then all the way back. Well, at least it's uh, kind of a pretty scenery. Kind of a neat area. Cool buildings up on the hill there. Let's see, is this a emergency? Nope. I'm looking for one of those little roads that goes turns you onto the other lane. Okay, here's where we gotta go. Yeah, we got to check out a couple of new roads. Oh, why am I tired? I thought I just slept not too long ago. Well, I guess we're going to keep our eyes open for a place to stop to rest now that I added a couple more miles to my journey. See, this uh, steering is a little, little rough for when you're trying to one-hand turn and look, because I'm using my mouse to to look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I'm trying to use the mouse to look over my shoulder to see if anybody's coming, and I'm trying to turn with one hand. And the steering wheel is really tight for it wants to pull you right back to straight. Kind of hit a couple of guardrails there, but hopefully it didn't do any damage. Okay, we're heading back to where we uh or <laughs> where we should have turned a long time ago. Well, now we're going downhill. At least we're, we're moving a little better now. A lot better now. Get that cruise control set. There we go. truck ramp. I don't think you can rest at a truck ramp. Yeah, we're definitely going downhill. Yeah, because the cruise control is trying to maintain a lower speed and we're, uh, we're booking. Yeah, yep. Yeah, get out of my way. Okay, this is where we want we want to get over here. Come on. Yeah, we want to be on 70. Yeah, that's now we're going the right way, I think. Yeah, 
track IR is going to be the definitely going to be the next thing. Here's our turn, Colorado Springs, 25 South. We should have been on this one in the first place. I was wondering why it was showing we we're going back up to Fort Collins. Let me know what you think of the camera angle too, because I can play around with other other configurations of placement for the for the picture. I tried one where I put the the, the camera straight onto the to the steering wheel, and then it was covering the steering wheel in the game. So all you saw was my steering wheel, but then there was the framing around it where you could see some of my keyboard and things like and some of the screen computer screen. I, I didn't really care much for it, but we can always try other spot placements, like you know, like up top or something like that too. Yeah, I'm really tired. See, by leaving off my my big GPS, it, I'm not seeing like my tiredness and things like that. I can tell fuel and all that through my gauges, but I have to go by the fact that I'm yawning to know that I'm really tired. So you can put down your windows too. Love how the sounds change when you put the windows down. Yeah, the audio effects in the game are really good. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, woo. <laughs> Didn't want to turn there. I guess I could have went straight through, but that was close. I think my reaction speeds are slowing because of the tiredness. And I'm not seeing any facilities where I can actually stop to sleep either. I mean parking spots. Too bad you couldn't just pull over on the side of the road to sleep. Traffic is increasing, that's for sure. I think that might be why the game is kind of hesitating a little bit, too. Yeah, because the kind of getting a stutter. Let's, uh, oh, here's Colorado Springs here. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, the game is kind of freezing on me here. Oh, that's, yeah, see my sight starting to, to darken around the rim. <laughs> Yeah, starting to black out a little bit. Yeah, it seems to be getting harder.
Hopefully there's a place to sleep up where I dropped the trailer off. Usually at a gas station. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to starting to pass out here. I've never pushed it real far on the the blacking out or to to the point where I would black out. Come on. <laughs> A year long red light not gonna help me get somewhere where I can sleep. Oh, where's the arrow? Not far enough forward or something. Oh my goodness. Oh good. I was gonna say they better give me an arrow. Oh where are you going? It's like I got the arrow here. Oh boy, starting to black out. We just gotta get this delivery made. That I could pass out in the cab. Just down the road. Oh man. I keep pushing it. Oh, new viewpoint. Must be around somewhere. See what I mean? Dodge charge, dodge charge, dodge charger, dodge Chevy or um uh Mustang, Mustang, Mustang. <laughs> delivering to Walmart. Do I have to go through the gate or is it right here? Can't tell. If I gotta go through, yeah, I do gotta go through the gate. You see that black, that white X on the ground. Hopefully they'll let me sleep in here. Somewhere. Okay. We're going to let them park it because I'm too tired. <laughs> and that extra detour I took did not help. <laughs> oh, there is a view spot just behind us, actually. Well, that'll be a plus for next episode. We'll start our episode out with checking out what that viewpoint is so cool let's deliver this okay hey still was excellent we did take a little bit longer drive than what we really had to but cool a successful first delivery with the steering wheel thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it you have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.